Well, good evening, folks. Welcome back to the farm. Boy, it was just an absolutely gorgeous day today. We took back up the whole family and we uh, ran out to Dawson Creek. Today was, uh, well, it's been the last few days actually, the Dawson Creek Exhibition and Stampede, aka the rodeo. So that was a good time. Um, lots to see there. Never, you know, we went to the Midway, had lots of fun on the rides, and then uh, ate a whole pile of junk food. And then I uh, got to watch rodeo and some chuck wagons, and yeah, it was a good time. We did have a few people stop by that uh, they recognized me from uh, from the channel here, and they come to say hi. And, you know, usually I find out after the fact. Usually somebody will message and say, oh, you know, I saw you at such and such an event or whatever. I wanted to say hi, but then you were with the family, and you know what? Don't worry about it. Just, uh, just come over and say hi, shake a hand. I'll make a friend. And because uh, we go to lots of events, right? So I got no problem sitting down, chat. I'll buy you coffee, buy you a beer, whatever. And uh, tell me all about your operation. It's kind of fun to learn and meet new people that way. I will say one thing that was kind of annoying though because like sitting in the grandstands at the rodeo and uh of course it's Dawson so it's BC right but I mean there's everybody's running around with these vape pen like these weed vape pens now and I tell you like you got to realize like this is a family event like if you can't leave the house without your weed vape pen that's one thing but if you got to be like sucking on that thing in the grandstands when there's like probably close to 2000 children just just maybe just don't leave the house today right just stay just stay home like if you can't if you can't not partake like that's a problem like that's like that's no different than alcoholism to me i to me i think i find it highly disrespectful to be doing that in a public place when there's children around it just it rubs me the wrong way i tell you one good thing that happened though is uh so this morning when i was getting ready to go i was looking for a you know a pair of our uptown jeans right especially going to the rodeo well do i have any you know half decent looking wranglers around i was searching through the drawer searching through the drawer and i unearthed these ones that i'm wearing right now so like oh it's got to be like almost eight years ago we took a family trip to las vegas and happenstanced upon a clothing store and like wranglers for 13 dollars up here in canada they're i mean they're probably you know well, they're significantly more than that. Let's just say that. I haven't bought a pair of Wranglers since we were down in Vegas. Like like I said, like eight years ago. Because we stocked up because they were so dirt cheap. But I want to say now they're probably like 70 bucks here, right? So anyways, I dig into the drawer, found these pair of new Wranglers. I've only worn them once or twice. Opened up a pocket and what do I find in there? But a dollar. So there's my lucky coin for the day. Regardless, I'm not too sure why I'm worried about a dollar because I spent significantly more than a, significantly more than a dollar at the rodeo. Because of course you go to the midway and you got to get snacks and you got to get all all the things, right? So we're in the poorhouse for a day or two, but uh, sure was a fun day out. Anyhow, we're out here doing even chores. We got the uh, put the chicken tractors all moved. They're all watered and fed. And uh, I just thought I'd show you the lambs in the ditch. It was too windy to. Show any footage of this the other day but there they are cleaning up the county ditch so there's probably well, they're probably in an acre right now 40 lambs in an acre so they should have this cleaned up in a couple of days 
and then I'll stretch two more lengths down to the east. And then when they clean that up, we'll hop across and we're going to go west for a few days. And then uh, by then, hopefully, I've got the stuff fenced out in the bush. But uh, yeah, it actually works out pretty awesome. They seem to love it. Nobody's caused any trouble. Nobody's left the farm. Nobody's gone for a wander across the neighbors. So pretty happy. And they're cleaning up all the underbrush under a lot of these trees and stuff where it was all kind of overgrown and impassable. They're getting that nice and cleaned out. So I'm actually pretty happy about it all in all. You know what's funny about them grazing in the ditch is that now they stick their head through the fence and they try to graze everything that's technically on the farm. The grass truly is greener on the other side, no matter what side of the fence you're on, I guess. Yeah.